On the 8th of March 2005, a schoolboy was woken up from a coma when he heard a track by his favourite rock band. Yes, you heard me right. Music fan Corey George was unconscious for two weeks and on a life support machine after being knocked out by a car on his ninth birthday. Then his mother, Tina, played him a CD of his favourite punk pop band, Green Day. In less than an hour after hearing the album, he had opened his eyes and was able to move his toes and fingers. This was one of the examples of music therapy, from an article from BBC News. Does anyone know what music therapy is? Well, according to musictherapy.org, music therapy is the clinical and evidence-based use of music interventions to accomplish individualized goals within a therapeutic relationship by a credentialized professional who has completed, this, completed an approved music therapy program. If you ask me, I do not understand even one word of this. Well, according to me, music therapy is the use of music to cure diseases. Now, personally, I love music. And it holds a very special place in my heart. No matter what kind of person you are, there will always be some, some kind of genre of music that you would like. And if you were to play some type of music to me, mainly hip-hop music, I would surely wake up from a coma. Well, you would ask me, how can music wake a person up from a coma? Modern medicine is the best way to cure diseases. In my opinion, medicines can cure diseases only when the body is willing to live. A person can wake up from a coma only when he truly wants to wake up. And that will to live is the best medicine. Therefore, music therapy uses music to give people the will whose hearts hold a special place for music. And I'm not saying that listening to music will cure any disease. It will give you the power to fight the disease. There's a famous quote that says, where medicines fail, music speak. Okay, I might have made that up, but my point still proves. When we talk about mental diseases, I mean the ones that threaten life like coma, depression, anxiety, schizophrenia, etc. Diseases which are very common in today's world. Also, according to howardhealth.eu, music therapy is also being used to cure cancer, one of the most deadliest diseases in today's world. When you hear the word music therapy, what do you think of? According to Rachel Fenotti, who is a well-known music therapist, and has conducted music therapeutic programs in more than 30 facilities. Music therapy is used to access abilities in the human mind which modern medicine cannot and also to reach modern healthcare goals. Music therapy is an upcoming cure, still not recognized a lot. So I wanted to use this opportunity to spread awareness and the best way to spread awareness is to show more real life examples. Now for me, as a music fan, one of the biggest examples is Logic. He is a rapper who released a song 1800-273-8255. Yes, a phone number, but not any phone number. It is a suicide helpline and he made this song to help people in hard situations to seek out for help. The song led to the increase in calls by three times that were saving millions of lives. I hope my speech has brought some attention towards music therapy and all of you have learned something new today. Music therapy is a very innovative program and I know it will surely help more people like Corey George. Thank you.